my own is that to everyone asking that woman to move on or saying that they are Muslims, the man can marry more than one wife should experience the woman's pain. Amen. Even if Islam said you can marry more, more wives, if you can share your responsibilities equally among them. And now my question is, is this man doing the same? I don't know about other African countries, but you see this Niger, eh? Women don't suffer. This video today is going to be all about Messi Ayibe, the husband snatcher that snatched somebody else's husband, that snatched that big head of a, of a man, Mr. Adeoti, snatched the man from his wife. This issue has been going on since last year. And um, today, we will talk about um, Messi Ayibe and this man actually went on vacation to the Maldives and the first wife of this man came out to rant on Easter blog. We have actually found the story on Easter blog, what she said about today being their anniversary, their 20th, 20th marriage anniversary. And yet the stupid man is in Maldives with his, with his second wife. Who happens to be Messi Aibe, and everybody knows who Messi Aibe is in Nigeria because she's an actress, a Yoruba actress, a popular Yoruba actress that snatched somebody's husband. I mean, why don't you go look for your own man? This thing is so pain me, eh? this thing is so irritating to me. What this Messi Johnson, Messi Aibe did? Sorry, God, God forbid, and Messi Johnson. What Messi Aibe did to this woman? You just came into this house and you scattered a family that has been going on for 19 years. Today is supposed to be their 20th wedding anniversary. And the man could not even call his wife to wish to wish them happy anniversary. I'm sure because of the pains in this woman's heart, that was why she came out. And she wrote this on her wall. You know, it's that, it's that blog now. You know, now I'm a Bob blog also. I carried this thing that this woman wrote on her own wall. She wrote on her wall and she said, Wow, ironically, today is our 20th anniversary, but it is well, and I thank God for life. I mean, and when you go through Instagram and you go through the comments, you see a lot of people. Those people where you do the same thing, people that can do the same thing, saying the woman should move on. How? How can she just forget everything that she has built with this man for 19 years? For This is the 20th year. Okay, let's say they've been separated since last year. Because of Messi Aibe. How can you people, how can people come out and start writing that this woman should forget? Move on, move on, move on to where? It's easy for people to come out and write rubbish when they are not they've not found themselves in that situation or neither their family members have been found in that situation it worries me it's sickening to see people writing madam move on move on move on to where do you guys think it's easy to move on it's not easy to move on it is not that's what people should understand that it is not easy to move on and coming online to see your husband display to display his love his affection for another woman how do you guys think this woman will feel how do you think this the wife and the mother of his children four beautiful kids would feel about it and yet people are coming out to say she should move on nobody should even come out and say those rubbish those rubbish words Move on, move on, move on. Is he who wears the shoes that knows where the shoes pinches? Ah ah. Is he just said and done? Move on, move on, move on, I beg to where? Don't you guys understand that the pain alone is out of this world? It's really heartbreaking. After investing 20, 19 to 20 years of your life in the marriage with four beautiful grown up kids. And your husband do you dirty like this? Or your wife do you dirty like this? 
it not happen that you're going to lose your wife or your husband to to a best friend to a one's best friend people should just shut shush shush it please i'm tired of hearing people saying move on move on move on move on just like i said from the onset let's just pray it doesn't happen to 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 neither of us let's just pray this kind of thing doesn't happen to neither of us and then that's when you people will understand how it feels or what these people are going through these people that keeps going up and down these girls that keep going nigerian girls with their big eyes looking for money looking for men they already made taking people's husbands from them well Messi shouldn't worry she shouldn't even forget that she, i think she's forgetting that she has a daughter and she forgets it and karma that karma is real i guess she's forgetting that karma is real what she's doing now is all for her happiness she doesn't she doesn't care about whose horse is god she thinks she can take somebody's husband and just go scot free karma is waiting for her in future karma is waiting for her in front we are all going to be alive to see how this marriage will turn out yes i'm saying it with my full chest we are all going to be alive to see how this marriage turns out and I'm one thing I'm so glad about is that thank God the woman has you know things going on for her. I'm just glad that this man's wife has things going on for her. So it's not as if she's you know 100 percent dependent on the man. She has a life, she has her kids to look up to. She has her kids to pour out all her love to. We'll keep watching. We'll keep seeing how things unfold between these couples. And please, and please, people should be more considerate eh? when they talk. Please, what you don't want to happen to you, don't pray it happens to someone else. Because sometimes you have to take the knife you know try to cut a piece of your body if you feel pain that's how you should understand that others would feel pain so stop saying move on because it's not happening to you right now that's all i have to say that's all i have to share concerning this issue let your conscience be the judge bye from me to you till i see you next time don't forget to subscribe